Hi, this is Sharon Lim. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I blog at sharonitwithyou.blogspot.com. Have you seen those explosion boxes that people made? This one's not as exciting. Similar, similar concept, though. There's a lovely box. And when you open it, surprise! So there's a spot for a gift card that can just stand up right here. A couple spots for some sentiments, some tabs with some cards that can sign. If there's multiple people that need to sign a card, they can do it. So let's get started. All right, so start with your base color. And it's 12 by 12, and you want to score four inches on all sides. I'm not sure if you can see that, but they're here. So then you're going to cut it. In a special way. So line it up at four again after you score. And you're going to just go up to the line, lift it up, and down. And repeat on the other side. So you only want the two slots. Up to the four, lift up. And then the other cuts you want to do is diagonal from this corner to this corner. And that will make the pockets that you saw here. Okay, so we're going to go from this score line to this edge right here. And you can just cut it there. And repeat on this side. Make sure you're all lined up. And keep going till you do all four. You can use these later for decoration if you like. So basically, it looks like you cut just the corners off. And I'll stop for you to see what it looks like when it's all cut. All right, I'll set those aside. I'm gonna do some burnishing here on all the score lines. And don't forget these, these are the ones again that I told you that makes the pockets. For the tabs that I was telling you about. And there you go. And we're just going to put a little glue, just enough to hold the tab down, but you don't want you don't want it too high because you don't want you want the tab to be able to fit in there still. So you put it along here, and then I measured it about right here to where that goes to hold it down. And I'll repeat again. So a little bit on the edge. A little bit on the edge here. And a little. And it goes all the way up there. You can close it up and do the triangle if you'd like to. Sometimes I'm a little off like that. So I'm just going to wipe that off. Burnish nicely. And there's your first layer. All right, for your second layer, you need a coordinating color, but it is 11 by 11. And, but you still do the same thing. Four, 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 turn, four, turn, four, turn. You can see that the square is a little smaller. This one's a little skinnier. So there's a little, there's a couple things we have to do for their pockets. So we'll do the same thing as we did before. Line up, but only cut these right here does that make sense and that way we'll have uh, we'll still have oops we'll still have these to be able to make the pockets out of so i'm going to line it up again four go all the way down here to the first score line lift second
lift. And because these are longer here, I'm going to fold these in first and I'm going to cut an inch off of this side. You cut an inch off of this and that way you can fold those over. It'll make sense. And I'll save these over here to show you what it looks like again in case it doesn't make sense and you want to see it visually. So there. Then you're going to come and do the same diagonal cut here, but on this side. So hold these in. So from this end to that score. Same here. From the end to the score line. From the ends to the score line. And last one. Alright, so let's see if I can re the visual. You cut off these triangles and you also cut off these extras on the edge. Does that make sense? Okay. Alright, so now we're going to make our pockets. So we're going to burnish, burnish, burnish all the score lines. You can see the pockets already forming. And we'll do the same thing. A little glue here along the edge, close it, a little glue on the top, and measure to see how far you go so it doesn't squeeze out. I'll hold that down. A little glue here. A little glue here. I'm totally guessing now that I'm doing it. Alright, so there we go. So that your second layer is done. I'm bringing the first layer back and what I like to do is I put the second layer opposite so you can have the tabs on there so we're going to put some adhesive on the back just on the square I'm going to center it there we go and then I also have for the small tabs for this one in here. I punched out some ovals from the double oval punch here for the tabs. And then these are three by two and a quarter and they fit perfectly here enough so the tabs can stick out here. And then the larger tabs that'll go into these pockets when I did it backwards, didn't I? Let's see if it'll come off. It's not permanent, I always say, until it's been on there 24 hours. Let's see if I can switch it. I think I can. There we go. Glad I caught that. All right, so let's try this again. So let's do the small tabs. Three by two and three quarters, large tabs. There's two of those. That are two, that are three and a quarter by three and a half. So I'll start with the small ones because they fit right there. And then what I did is I just took the ovals and folded them in half to form a tab. I thought it'd be a good color coordinating tab. Because I really love the round tab. I used to use that punch a lot. So a little adhesive inside the fold. 
on both of these. And just make sure they fit in here. And then I try to just line them up here so they pull out like that. Whoops. I'll do the same for the other side. Slip them in. Fold it in. And let's do the one for the large ones. Again, I just did coordinating colors so you know where they fit in. You can do any colors you'd like. Fold it in half, a little adhesive. Slip them in. Put this way. There we go. Then match them up. Repeat. Match them up. There you go. That one's a little crooked, but I'll fix that. There we go. So now your, your base is pretty much done. I cut out some of the ginkgo branches with the dies. Um, on the original box, I did use the del the more detailed ones. On this box, I'm using the I use the stamp and the other outline of the ginkgos. So I'll put these on the inside of here. Uh, there's my glue. I'll do this one in here, and then the single one. On this side, just to coordinate. And then I think we're ready for. Oh, I forgot this. The gift card holder. So the gift card holder is a four by four piece of basic white, scored at a half, one and a fourth, two, two and three quarters, and three and a half. And basically, all you're doing, see the score lines, is your accordion folding. So back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Finish them very well. And basically, you'll get this shape. So these two right here are going to be sitting on the card. So first, I'm going to put a little glue here, on the just on the edge, just so your gift card can fit in there. So I'm going to close that up and hold that for a second. And that's enough room right there for a gift card to be held there. And then this is a little big. So I do like to hold it down here. And do you see how it's too big to fit in here? All I did was take my snips and cut the corners off. And I'll show you what I mean. Like that. You can measure if you like. I just cut them just so they'll fit. And do you see how better it'll fit right here? So now that these two glued are glued together and there's a pocket for the card and I'll test it out with my fake card. It goes right in there, right? And then I'm going to put glue on these two flaps right here. And press it down. And that's it. And there is where your gift card will be. Isn't that cool? All right, last piece is our lovely lid. And our lid is six by six, and you score it at 15 sixteenths on all side. What that is is the one tick right below, um, right before that, um, the inch. And you'll see, I don't know if you can see the lines. And I like to just cut. You can use your trimmer if you like. It's just easier for me to cut this way. I do it at angles each time. You can miter them a little bit if you like. You don't have to. But um, <clears throat> it's always nice to have that little bit to tuck in. Let's see if 
I can get this completely off. All right, and the same thing, burnish, 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 to make our lovely lid. I hope you like this. I do this one a lot because I think it's fun to have a pop-up gift card. Giving When you give a gift card, I always like to say, you know, give it as a gift as opposed to just inside of a card. So go ahead and glue on the tabs. Tuck them in. Hold on to a while. Make sure that the lid is squared off. Last one. And then I also want to put one of those on there too, I think, just for decoration. Kind of similar to the other one. And that is it, guys. Your gift card box is done. So fold up the sides, slip on the lid, and when the person is ready to reveal their gift, they just have to pop it open. And there's their lovely gift card. I'm going to set this one. I'm going to do the same with the sample, with the detailed dies on here, open, and the gift card sits right there. So thanks for letting me share this with you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll be doing more and more of these video tutorials for you. So thanks for letting me share this, and have a great day. Bye.